day, folks. It's opening day here at Bucknell University, and these fans are ecstatic for us to get underway. Squaring off, we have the bitter rivals of reaction rate versus reaction equilibrium. And to show how these two concepts relate, we'll be using batters throughout the game today as an example. That's right, Josh. A completed reaction occurs when a batter successfully rounds the bases and touches home plate, scoring a run. The type of hit the batter gets represents the reaction's Gibbs free energy. The further the hit, the more negative the Gibbs free energy, symbolizing a higher probability of that reaction to coming to completion. And the speed at which the batter rounds the bases shows how fast the reaction occurs. Well, Alec, it looks like we're ready for our first batter of the day. In steps the ferocious Bobby Lefty Smith. And the first pitch. It's a high fly ball. Deep to left center. That ball is way back. It's way back. It's out of here. That's Bobby's first home run of the year, and you can imagine his negative Gibbs free energy is off the charts. His reaction has definitely gone to completion. It really looks like he's taking his time to round those bases, really rubbing it into the other team's face as he proceeds at a glacial pace. Next up, we have Alex Schiff. And the pitch, it's another fly ball, deep in the gap. It's back, and it's off the wall. That hit was not as far as Bobby's, but he still has a large negative Gibbs energy, smaller than Bobby's. And the throw, not in time. Completed the reaction, but at a lightning speed. Let's move on to our next batter, Joey Bat. And the pitch, and it's a bunt down the first baseline. That's a pretty weak hit there, Alec. He definitely has a small positive Gibbs free energy, showing that he has a small chance of reaching home. And up steps our last batter of the night, Norm Bristol. The pitch, and it's another bunt. These last two batters have a small positive Gibbs free energy. Pitcher fields, and he throws it over the first baseman's head and into right field. He will round the bases. He's rounding third and he's heading home. And the throw, not in time. Norm completed that reaction even with a small positive Gibbs free energy. Well, Alec, there's some definite takeaways from the game. First, we saw the probability of the reaction occurring is unrelated to the rate at which it proceeds. This was really shown by Yip and Bristol today. Their probability of scoring was much lower than Smith's, but somehow they managed to finish the reaction a lot faster. 